Yeah. What's going on, New York? How y'all doing? It's running time. Getting amped up for the Brooklyn half coming up Saturday the 18th, baby. It's gonna be on and popping. Yeah. 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 What's going on, New York? Thank y'all for tuning in to It's All Good TV. I'm your host, Terrence T. Bone Mills. Continue to support BCAT.TV Network. It's the heart and soul of the world. Also, I'd like to shout out to Manhattan Neighborhood Network that airs all of my shows. So if y'all watching right now, thank y'all very much. What's going on, New York? How y'all doing? First off, like I said, I got a new look. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm P-I-M-P -I -I right now with the picture and picture, you know? But um, other than that, I'm getting ready to run the city, baby. I'm getting ready to run the city on the 18th. The Brooklyn Half Marathon is going to be on Saturday, the 18th. We're going to be running from Brooklyn, all the way from Brooklyn straight to Coney Island. And it's going to be off the chain. It's going to be nice. As you can see, I got my the banner in the background, man. And what makes it... The marathon even 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 more special is that you're gonna be running through the borough of Brooklyn, and then you're gonna end up at you know the world famous Coney Island, as we all know you know had had they little trials and tribulations with you know uh, Sandy with the weather, and now they you know everybody piecing things together, they they coming back, and it's gonna be fabulous down there. It's going to be off the chain down there. A lot of people say, how you preparing yourself? Well, right now, I have a little foot injury because I've been training so hard. You know, so right now, I'm just, um, before the, the race, I'm going to be stretching. I'm going to be soaking a lot, you know, and just I'm just going to relax and get my, get my mind work, get my breathing work. Because you, you can't just jump into no half marathon without knowing you know your game plan what you what you want to do you know there's going to be a lot of professional runners and everything i'll be running in wave two so i think my corral starts my race started i think it's 7 30 7 35 so my post race time i'm hoping will be probably two hours and 30 minutes so if i start at 7 30, hopefully i can get to coney island at least by 10 o'clock in the morning you know and um, if you're watching right now, if you ain't doing nothing on the 18th, come meet me down at Coney Island. I'm going to be running. I'm going to be filming. I'm going to be drinking after I cross the finish line. And you maybe get in, into a couple of rides or something. So if y'all watching this all good TV right now, you ain't doing nothing on the 18th, come out and cheer us on. Because we can, you know, we can, we can use it, you know. So... Also, shout out to all my friends that are running, you know, um, the New York City, uh, Brooklyn Half, Denise Stroy, shout out to you, Denise, and Michelle, shout out to you, you know what I mean? And um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be amazing, man. It's, it's going to be real nice. Hopefully, the weather's be somewhere in the 70s somewhere, you know, so we can get our race on. And... I'm really looking forward to it because, I, you know, I, I've been training a lot. I've been working really hard for the race. And I hope everything works out. Like I said, you just can't jump into a half marathon. You got to start out with the small races first. And I, like I said before, the ING got canceled last year because of, you know, the hur hurricane and everything. 
And um, I will be running in this November 2013 ING Marathon. But this will be my first half marathon, especially in Brooklyn. Last year I ran, you know, the 18 mile tune up, which was like, I was sore for like two weeks. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it, it, it was just a lot, man, because, you know, like I said, while you're training, you got to eat right. You know, I still splurge here and there. But I, I do, you know, a lot of training. But you can't overtrain. And shout out to Dan. You know, he, he gave me some information on, on a, some nice pair of cushion sneakers to get. You know, because you can't train with the same pair of sneakers. You at least got, at least have like two pair of training sneakers. You know, because you'll get, you know, you'll get injured. You know, because I had a little foot problem. You know, my heel was sore, so I stopped running for a week. I started soaking it. I started stretching even more. You know, so right now I'm just doing, like, cardio and stuff like that, sit-ups, push-ups, you know. And um, everything is looking good. As you can tell by the banner, banner man, it's, it's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears when you're running, especially half marathons and full marathons. It's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. It's a lot of goes down mentally in your head. A lot of people, when they run, they put on headphones and all that, but I'm, I, I don't wear none of that. I just try to just, you know, just get ahead and, and, and just do it. It gets hard. I'm telling y'all, when you're running long distance, it's all about will, the will inside, man. You know, if you're strong, you got that will inside, because it, it, it be some points where you just want to just pull over. If you tie it, pull over, start walking. I ran um, uh, the lung cancer uh, like two Sundays ago in Central Park. And you know, Central Park got hills. If you ever been to Central Park, Central Park has hills that's like, like you going up to see, going to heaven, going up to see the Lord. I ain't gonna lie. It's like you running up to a skyscraper. That's how steep the hills are. And you know, I get to the hill, I run up halfway, and then it just keep going up. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna walk till I get to the mountaintop, and then I'm coming down, I'm running down, you know? But that goes, you know, to show, you know, the test of your, your will and, and, and your, your, your mentality, you know? And running is a great form of just keeping in shape, man. You know, if, if you walk, then you can start running, you know? Some runners, in order to become great, they start walking first, and then they start jogging, and then they start running, you know? For somebody just to get out there and just start running and huff, you know, you can't really do that because you, you, you got to make sure, you got to make sure your body's equipped to run. You, you got to find a, the right breathing technique when you run. I had to do all that when I first started running because, you know, my body was just... When I first started running, I was like, my body wasn't used to none of that. My body was just running, just used to running the pop pop. <laughs> you know? I was serious, man. My body was used to partying, having drinks, and chilling with the ladies. That's what my body was used to. When I started running my first race, I was, oh man, I thought I was going to pass out because I didn't know how to breathe. I was running with my mouth wide open. <gasps> You know, you can't do that. You have to breathe. You have to breathe through your nose and breathe out your mouth. You know what I mean? And then just find a technique, like a rhythm for it, you know? Yes, I had to learn all that. You know, you just can't just jump into running and just start running long distance. And you don't know how to breathe. You don't know how your body's going to react. You don't know. And it was at one point where I, every water stopped. I was drinking water, go, 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 and that wasn't good, because at the end of the race, I had diarrhea, you know what I mean, I drank so much water, I had diarrhea, and I noticed some of these athletes, when they run, some of them don't drink water, they drink like a little bit, you know, and then they just keep, to, just to quench their thirst, and then they keep going, so also, um, shout out to the New York Road Runners Club, you know what I mean, I'm a, I'm a part of the family, and you know, I love to run, and I started running two years ago. I think my first run was the um, Jingle Bell Jog in Prospect Park, and I was exhausted because I didn't know how to run. 
I didn't know how to run. I thought I knew how to run. When you run in competition, you running for time. When you running by yourself, you just, you know, you run taking your time. But when you running with everybody else and you trying to get your time and everything right, you know, that's a whole different story, you know? The Brooklyn Half Marathon. 20,000 runners will be running this year. When they first started, I think they said it, it was like 6,000. Then it went from 6,000 to 15,000. Now it's 20,000 runners that's going to be running this uh, Saturday the 18th. I'm talking about the streets going to be full, baby. If you see me, holler at me. I think my number is like 37, 371, 4, something like that. So if you see me, I'm going to be in all black, shades on, black. I'm going to be in black, blue, and orange. That's what I'm wearing, bright colors. My sneakers going to be blue and orange. My hat going to be blue and orange. I'm going to be having my, 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 my arm bands on, you know, black shorts, black tights. That's how I'm running. So if you see me, holler at me. Uh, and I'm just going to get in my mood. I ain't got no time talk to nobody while I'm jogging because once I get in my rhythm I like I like to keep it that way because once you start talking and mingling you get out your rhythm and your breathing pattern gets interrupted and then you gotta stall all over again you know so that's what I'm looking forward to shout out to um Dawn Michelle she's running shout out to Miss Dawn Michelle she's running on Saturday and everything and um, she she's prepared she's ready once again, shout out to Denise Troy and everybody that's running the Brooklyn Half right now. If you watching and running the Brooklyn Half, let's have fun, baby. It's gonna be all about fun. We start from the Brooklyn Museum. We gonna run down um, Eastern Parkway and then we are gonna turn around around the library, around that little Catman Plaza Circle, and then we are gonna head down. We are gonna head down Flatbush into the all the way down Flatbush until we reach Parsley Park. Then we're going inside Parsley Park. Then we're going to do one loop around Parsley Park, out Parsley Park. Then on to um, Ocean Avenue, straight down to Coney Island, baby. The boardwalk. That's going to be in. It's going to be celebration. It's going to be food. It's going to be drinks. I hope my people's going to be there at the finish line. You know, like I said, it's, it's going to be my first half marathon. I'm excited. You know, and um, basically every time I finish a race, I'm, 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 I'm proud because it, it proves that you've accomplished something, you know. You set out a goal, you train hard, and you accomplish something. And I think everybody should put that toward their life endeavors, you know. You set a goal, accomplish something. Also, shout out to a good friend of mine. Um, I think I seen her at the African Street Festival. Miss Talva Hubert. So Talva, if, you, if you're watching this All Good TV right now, I'd like to say hello. You know, I think you was there with your daughter and everything. You was eating some food. You know, I looked at you. I recognized you. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to come over to disturb you. So I'd like to give a big shout out to my uh, homegirl friend, gorgeous young lady, uh, Talva Hubert, if you're watching right now. You know, um, thank you for tuning in to us all good TV, and it was actually good seeing you. But you know, I really didn't want to, you know, come over and interrupt you and everything. And um, it was at the African Street Festival when I saw you. You looking good, you know. Stay blessed, girl. All right. So once again, shout out to everybody in Brooklyn that's running the Brooklyn Half, like me myself. And when I get to the finish line, I will be uh filming i will be taking pictures but not at, of the whole course right now i'm gonna try to do that in, in the um, ing marathon in november get one of the little cameras to put on top of my head or something <laughs> so i could go run you know but um yeah shout out to everybody that's running in brooklyn man Twenty thousand people are running the brooklyn marathon Twenty thousand. Oh my God. I hope there's enough room to run. Because I'm going to be weaving in and out. I'm starting in wave two. I'm trying to reach wave one. You know, wave one so I can finish, you know, within my PR time, hopefully two, two hours and 30 minutes, you know. But um, like I said before, I just want to shout out to everybody 
Uh, shout out to the New York Road Runners Club, you know, part of the family, and you know, a lot of things is going on. It was a tough season last year. You know, everybody's trying to get back on their feet right now, and um, looking forward to this race. Looking forward to running the Brooklyn Half Saturday the 18th. Everybody, I hope everybody could, could come through, and you know, and cheer us on. Cheer us on. I think it's going to be televised on. on it's gonna be televised, you know? And like I said, once again, I'm gonna pull out my camera at the finish line, the film, take some pictures, um, do some quick interviews with people, you know? And um, just just have some fun. So once again, shout out to everybody that's gonna be running the Brooklyn Half Marathon. And I hope y'all been training, you know? And running is, running is all about just having fun. Take your time. You know, if you feel tired, pull over, stop, walk a little, talk a little, and just enjoy yourself and, and have fun. That's what I love about it, you know. You see the banner where, you know, the guy, he got his hands in the air. That's a sign of a, accomplishment. He's like this, accomplishment. And then the guy in the front, you know, he's, God, I made it. He's breathing real hard. Oh, I made it, man. And you just see, you see the um, the tiredness on this guy's face. You know, the guy with the, the gold chain around his neck on, on the banner. And then you see the guy like this in the back on the banner like, yes, yes, there's no feeling in the world than starting from the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team's here. Started from the bottom, now we here. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's nothing in the world when you start from the bottom and reach your way up to the top. There's nothing in the world. Nothing in the world. And that's just the feeling that I get when I run in these marathons. You start from the from the from the start line and then the journey goes. You you run through hills, you run around curves. And then next thing you know, you got another mile left, man. It's like, oh, sweat, I'm almost here. And when you cross that finish line, it's, it's nothing in the world. That is that is that feeling of accomplishment, that, that excitement. Like I put in that work, and I res I completed my goal. I completed my goal. It's a beautiful thing. And that's what life should be. Just you know all about everybody's life setting out a goal and completing it having fun you know so shout out to everybody man that's running the brooklyn half we're gonna have fun you know what i mean like i said i already got my, my i think my peeps gonna meet me down there we already got the restaurants where we gonna eat we gonna drink they got breweries on sale they got drinks on sale and it's gonna be, it's gonna be incredible. You know, they got the post party coming up. They got the preview uh, post party where everybody come pick up their bib numbers. They're gonna have entertainment, they're gonna have food, they're gonna have drinks, they're gonna be selling shirts, sneakers. You know, this the uh, New York Road Runners post pre-party before the big race. But for me, I don't go a day before any of my races, I don't go nowhere. I chill in the crib, I stretch, you know what I mean? I, 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 I soak down and I just relax. But I'm gonna go on a Thursday and I'm gonna hang out all, all day Thursday. I'm gonna film, take pictures of the post. Y'all gonna see some of the pictures in the film that I put together. And um, it's gonna be nice. And then that Friday before the race, that's when I just, you know, I relax and everything. And I, you know, get my gear ready and, you know, um, say a little prayer. You got to pray before every race. You pray for yourself. You pray for everybody that's running, that nobody, you know, gets hurt. You know, uh, nobody runs out of breath. Everybody's lungs is, is wide open so they can breathe, you know. And, every, and, and you pray for everybody that could finish the race, you know. And um, like I said, thoughts and prayers go out to, you know, the Boston Marathon, a lot of people got hurt, a lot of people got, a couple of people got killed, you know, so my thoughts and prayers go out to them, and I'm definitely running for Boston, too, 
pound Boston. Keep praying for Boston, you know? Definitely. When you run in a family, everybody's family. When you run it for organization, everybody's family, you know? Black Girls Rock, shout out to Black Girls Run. Also, Black Girls Rock, Black Girls Run. They be running a lot of marathons. Shout out to Miss Dawn Michelle. She's going to be running, you know? And looking forward to it. It's, it's going to be a beautiful thing. It's going to be a beautiful run. Everybody's going to enjoy themselves. We're going to have a good time. And we're going to celebrate and we're going to party in Coney Island. And that's the whole thing. 20,000 people is going to be in Coney Island on the 18th, y'all. 20,000 people is going to be on the boardwalk in Coney Island. Everybody come out. If you watching this All Good TV right now, all y'all come out and party with us. I'm going to be filming. I'm going to be taking pictures. The whole nine. Come and party with us, baby. You understand what I'm saying? If you watching right now, come to Coney Island. Coney Island is going to be off the chain. I'm telling y'all. Coney Island is going to be off the chain. Also, shout out to all the beautiful, sexy women out there. You know what I mean? Flatbush. Stand up Flatbush, Brooklyn, you know what I mean? H Block, Hawthorne, Fenimore Street, Winthrop Street, Empire Boulevard, Church Avenue, Sapuse, Nabule to my Haitian family. You know what I mean? Shout out to Ma, shout out to Disco, shout out to Melman Ma. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just everybody just having fun. Shout out to the Vid Kick, Tim. Bless me video, scratch me TV, video music box, Ralph McDaniels. Sorry I missed your 30th anniversary, but congratulations, man, and continue on for another 30 years. You know what I mean? I'm just having so much fun right now, man. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of things. My website is up, tmillsphotography.net, fashion film photography. Shout out to John o. Oliver for the movie Home. Beautiful documentary on, on mental illness and trying to, um, you know, get back into the real world. So y'all can check him out at HomeTheFilm.com www.HomeTheFilm.com Alright? And um, also I would like to um, shout out to everybody once again that's been supporting this All Good TV and the Terrence Mills Show. Shout out to People TV down in Atlanta, Georgia, Manhattan Neighborhood Network, in Manhattan, and all in BCAT.TV, all the producers, the staff members, man. Shout out to Dan, because Dan is an avid marathon runner, too, you know. And I asked him, Dan, you running? He said, nah, not this time, but, I, you know, I will next time. So shout out to everybody that loves to run. I, you know, I love to run. I love to stay in shape, and I love to run. You know, I can't, I'm getting, I'm getting older, so I really can't run like I really used to just get up jump up and just run but hey I think running is a great form of keeping in shape so if you want to get out there and start running I think that's probably the best way to do it man you just feel good you breathe right breathe in blow out you know if you feel like running come out there and run you know I train every I train in Prospect Park I train in Central Park you know, it's a beautiful thing, man. But um, first of all, I'm getting ready, get ready to get out of here. Shout out to everybody. If you're not doing nothing, Saturday the 18th, the Brooklyn Half Marathon. Cheer us, come out and cheer us on. You know what I mean? And come out to Coney Island and party with us. I'm gonna be filming. I'm gonna be taking pictures. I'm gonna be out there for a couple hours. And then the next day, the 19th, I'm going to be at Age Walk, New York. All right? I'm going to be out there filming, taking pictures. Age Walk, New York is the 19th. So, you know, next week is going to be that it's, it's, it's going to be a beautiful weekend for me. Just wonderful, glorious, beautiful. I'm waking up happy, man. You know what I mean? It's all about being happy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, um, I got a little time left. I got a little time, but I'm um, shout out to everybody. 
And um, get out here. Let's all run together, man. And then, you know, if, it don't matter if you running, running to your to your job. You run to see your shorty. It's all about keeping in shape. You like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong. There's some nice looking shorties that be running. I be trying to run after them, but I keep, they too fat for me. I can't even catch them. One girl told me, if you can catch me, I'm all your. Man, she flew by me. And then you have the older people. You know, I'm running like this. Grandma smacked me on my butt. Bow, come on, sonny, young buck. You, 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 what's wrong? You tired? And she just flew right by me. I was like, man, I got to step my running game up, man. You know? So um, shout out to everybody that's, um, that's running. And, and shout out to everybody that's starting to get into the running activity, the activity of, of running and staying in shape and just having a good time, man. Bring your family, your kids, you know, running is a beautiful thing, man. When I go run in Prosper Park, man, I see everybody out there. The kids be running, beautiful shorties out there be running. Marae, Marae be out there walking, walking her dog Neo, you know what I'm saying? So once again, shout out to everybody and, um, Shout out to everybody that loves to run, you know? And keep running. It's a form of keeping in shape, and you feel good about yourself. And if you want to join any organizations, you know, and you want to run with a team, you know, you can, you can make that happen, definitely. So once again, I'd like to say uh, thank you all for tuning in. To It's All Good TV, and I hope to see y'all on race day, and I hope to see y'all at, at um, Coney Island so we can party and have some drinks and have a good time. All right? So I'm getting ready to get it. Be out. Get my outro music. Yeah. Let's run the city, baby. Brooklyn all day. Let's run the city. Me and, and all of y'all, let's run together. Let's have fun. I'll meet y'all in Coney Island, baby. It's gonna be a party. Let's make it happen, yeah. Yeah. I holla.